Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let us continue playing as the Russian SFSR. Um, yeah. Having a good time. Someone commented once or twice that, you know, Mr. Mocha Lover, your fleet, it isn't very good. You only got four battleships and 21 destroyers. I know. I know it's not very good. This is basically the type of fleet I will make that is basically what I think of at a bare minimum. There's a reason why I'm doing this, though. Mostly because I only want to use new ships, not old ships. For example, the ships that we started with, they're not really that great. And if I try to upgrade these ships, it's going to take a long time to get upgrades on these ships. So I might as well just make new ships. But I will use these ships as a patrol fleet in the future. Or actually, you know what? Maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep these ships by themselves. Uh, what we're going to do, they actually have a lot of subs. Let's remove the subs first. And then we'll put you under someone else. You'll be Sub Daddy Vladimir Kas Kasatonov. Cool. Uh, for right now, for the subs, I mean, I really don't care. Go and do some convoy raiding right here. Eastern Northern Sea is probably a pretty good idea. No accessible regions because the Norwegians have closed this area off. Well, the subs will get down there eventually. I'll put you under there. I'm just going to call this subs. So, oh, I guess I have my caps lock on. There we go, subs. Awesome. Uh, we got an extra spare battleship and extra destroyer. Uh, I guess uh, our navy, our good navy, good fleet, is currently engaged in a battle, which is fine. But yeah, I will, I will work on our navy. You know, it wasn't my plan on. Yeah, these ships really suck. But uh, wasn't really my plan on having my navy look like this. Or at least, you know, four battleships, a couple destroyers. I will add in some light cruisers. Definitely quite a few light cruisers, because light cruisers are one of the best ships in the, in the game, I think, in my opinion. That, carriers and battleships. Uh, I think the worst ship, in my opinion, is the heavy cruiser. It just doesn't have a good specific role. I mean, I'm not a big guy on the naval meta. I know you want battleships, or, you know, as many big cannons as you can on those ships. Carriers are not as good as battleships as to my understanding in the current naval meta. But light cruisers are extremely good and destroyers can also be extremely good as well. So, uh, what is this? This is the other fleet, actually. That's not super good. But give me all of your subs. You actually need quite a few screens. No, oh, no, you have five screens and one battleship. Okay, that's fine. Uh, subs, go ahead and join this guy down here. Give me half of you guys. Join him there. Uh... Oh, did I put you over here? Where did I put you? Oh, Dr. Leningrad. I want you to join him. Yeah. Sure, whatever, do that. We'll figure that out soon enough. So we got our normal fleet here. We've got not a great fleet over here, which we want to eventually merge with. Um, the Black Sea. Oh, this is the Black Sea fleet. Okay. Alright. And then we got... A pretty good, you know, pretty bad fleet right here. So this is the bad fleet, the 26. 25 is currently engaged. Okay, good to know. Anyways, let's continue on. And also, I didn't realize that I've been playing quite a bit of Kaiserreich, so I forgot that if you increase infrastructure in areas that have resources, you get more resources. So thanks for that reminder. I've been playing way too much Kaiserreich. Um, yeah, other than that, oh, there we go. Nice. Two Swedish light cruisers, nine destroyers, and a heavy cruiser, and 24 British... Planes, you guys, I'm, I know, I'm going to commit a sin right now. Combine these two, and then I will actually divide these two up into two separate fleets. For now, at least. Cool. Uh, we definitely want to finish off Norwegians. I don't want you to be extreme in this battle. I want you to be careful. Uh, balanced. Balanced is probably what the word I'm looking for. I want to finish this front up so badly. So this way we have spare armies to move around, finish this area up of northern Germany push actually into France so I can get down to Spain so I can get down to Gibraltar and close off the Mediterranean over here move quickly through Turkey so I can cut off the Suez and starve all of the allies of resources within the Mediterranean Sea that is my goal and right now I have to have coffee here but it's different coffee I actually have Starbucks coffee surprise surprise oh my goodness this is not good don't do that oh, I'm gonna lose some divisions doing this whatever doesn't really matter do that, and I want you to go ham. I You have to go absolutely ham right now, because if you don't, uh, 
Yeah, things are not going to look very good for us. Yeah, I need you to come this way. Cool. Um, other than that, we've been holding pretty well in the Middle East. Not too many complaints. I'm sure I could complain about something, but, you know, I don't really feel like complaining all day long. Uh, do that. Send another guy in. Oh, yeah, you're already helping out. Nice. Very good. You guys come down here. Uh, you guys could probably go to Holmes or Olms or however you pronounce that. Aleppo? What is Aleppo? That joke for me will never die. It wasn't even that good of a joke. Uh, the Czech divisions and the Romanians, they're doing... Okay, I guess, suppose, down here. Not great, but they're doing okay. Uh, let's see. Ships. Ah, so you're here. You can't get over there, which really, really sucks. So, really, we have to beat up Norway. We currently have tanks. Where do I send my tanks to? You are... Ah, Yugoslavia. That's right. So, I told them not to move maneuver themselves just yet. Get ready. To invade, get your organization up, and then we'll take out Yugoslavia once again. I really need... Oh, and I... Also, here's something else I didn't tell you. Between this episode and the last time, I decided to take all of my poets' divisions and just throw them on the coast to help, you know, keep things under control, make sure things aren't going to rebel against us, so... And we have a total of 150 divisions right now. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Oh, god dang it. I lost five convoys. That's not good. Ah, oh, but we have a couple more division. Oh, we have another tank division. Glorious. Uh, are you guys ready yet? <sighs> Some of you guys really aren't. Those that are, I will go ahead and send you in. Though, that'll be good. Hmm. Yeah, I really need to close off the Mediterranean. Take Belgrade out if you can. Take these guys out as well. If you can. Tanks still organizing. Probably losing a couple things around here. Uh, two British divisions. I need you to come this way. And I need you to help out when they lose. Nice. 13 planes. Cool. Looks like we have five battleships. Let's split this into halves. Oh, I have a super heavy battleship hull. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, it's lagging pretty badly, actually. We'll take that. And we'll take quite a few destroyers with us. Ah, that'll be good enough. That's good enough. One... One capital ship should get at least four screens. I know that about the naval meta. That seems to always be the naval meta. Uh, do you have enough supplies, maybe? No? Alright, well, whatever. You'll get there eventually, Kuzma. You'll do a good enough job eventually. Oh, nice. Oh, we shot down 62 enemy planes. Nice. Just don't damage my ships. That's really what I'm worried about. Go ahead and repair. I don't want my fleet destroyed. That's I'm always worried about my fleets getting destroyed. And we're losing convoys and planes. But, uh, yeah, this is garbage. No one was defending this. Not even my Italian ally was defending their own lands. But, yeah, this is pretty bad. Go ahead and attack the motorized. we got to cut these guys off. Uh, we sunk two enemy convoys in exchange for a plane. We lost a plane, then we lost another plane. God dang it, I have to cut off the Mediterranean, because this is ridiculous. This should not happen anymore. Ah, this is aggravating. I need you to kick it up a notch. I need you to, Actually, you know what? I need you to kick it up th two more notches. We gotta take these guys out. You guys... You just don't... I just... I just don't have enough divisions. I'm trying to do a permanent revolution is really difficult. Anyways, tanks, go right in. We have to cut off these Yugoslavians, because I need to move my tanks somewhere else. Mmm, coffee's pretty good, though. Not bad. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Oh, Japanese is where I forgot we're still at war with Japan. Huh. If Norway could be finished off quicker, that'd be great. Guys, guys, come on. Move in. Uh, where are you at? Just go ahead and just all come this direction. I need this done. It is only April, but still. I need you to go ham as well. Because right now, you're clogging up. You're holding up all the other fronts in which you could be used. Which is extremely important. Can I attack France? Ah, eh, his odds of winning aren't really great. Take the tanks and just massacre the enemies. I mean, yeah, we have quite a few losses. Three to quarter million. Which is actually better than the Allies. If you just look at my losses compared to the entire Allies' losses. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, we're doing well in Italy, at least. Before they invade us again. But yeah. Uh, my priority is just closing out the Mediterranean. 
Hopefully the Spanish can do that. The Spanish and our allies, they are doing a fairly nice job. Hopefully they can get to Cairo quickly. That is my hope and desire right now. Spain is holding off pretty well. Lost another plane. Norway, you have to die. Norway, what is your manpower like? Kernigs Kungsburg research. Ah, that's pretty good manpower. They're, they are unscraping the barrel. Uh, ooh. The keel's been cut off. Go, make sure they can't move. Take out Hamburg if you can. Yeah, taking out Hamburg is an important step here. Come on, tanks. You can do a better job than this. You're supposed to be pretty thick. Ooh, looks like we might have lost something. Uh, we were encircled. Yeah, I can't do all this by myself. Ooh, but look at that. I need some assistance somewhere. Something. Something's got to give. Because these allies, they can't keep doing this. Just invade, 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 and... My Coast Guards aren't even doing anything. It's kind of really, really annoying trying to do this. But luckily, at least our guys in Italy are doing okay until we get navally invaded again. If they finish up Italy, I will send these guys to Yugoslavia to help push them back out. And they get reinvaded, And then help take out Turkey. And then move my tanks further south and just take out the Suez. Honestly, I might just blow up the Suez Canal anyways. That actually might be for the best if we can do that. Can I take Baghdad? That'd be kind of cool. No, oh, we might be able to. Uh, regarding India, yeah, India, kind of a problem. Kind of a problem. Uh, yeah, this is not looking great, but then again, when is Total War a great thing? Oh, wait, American ships? Oh, they have access, they have Istanbul again. God dang it. You guys are just not moving fast enough. There are obvious locations where you really need to move. Come on, guys. Move faster. Hmm. Is there any way... Oh. Oh, the Republic of the Arabian Assembly wants to send us two divisions. Republic of the Arabian Assembly. They're communist. Very cool. Would you like to join us? No. We cannot invite them to our faction. Unfortunately, that sucks. Alright, it's time to teach some people some manners here. Do that. Push them back over the river. They should fall. Maybe not. Oh, so sh wait, Bulgaria has fallen. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is just ridiculous. I can't keep doing this. Norway, Ugh, these armies. Ah, it's frustrating that these guys just aren't doing anything. Like, I know the days haven't gone on very much, but I just don't have enough divisions. Apparently, I just don't have enough divisions. No matter what I do, the Allies have just way too many divisions and help. And my tanks, they're just not doing anything. Come on, guys. Seriously. Division for division? You, this shouldn't be a problem. Alright, I'm sending my tanks this way. Screw it. My armies are a little bit incompetent. Not gonna lie. And I need you to go immediately. I don't care about your organization. You have to win for us. Because this should never, this should have never happened. The American invasion of Italy should have never even happened. If the Coast Guards were doing their job, which these Coast Guards are 20 with now, they should be able to withstand pretty, almost, almost anything. This should have never happened. But luckily, since it's going to be finished up, okay, I want everyone to move now. There's no like just waiting. You got to assault when I tell you to. You got to take them out. You got to kill them all. Then I'll use the army in Italy, move over back to Yugoslavia, we capitulated them once or twice already, take those guys out, and then go to the Republic of Turkey, which should have never come back, but the failure of my allies and them trying to defend their lands is always a problem. Oi. And it looks like we lost a couple ships there. And the UK invaded. God, come on. I heard that this was a problem early on in Hoi 4 that... The amount of naval invasions was absolutely ridiculous, and it's kind of turned out to be the same way right now, too. This is just way too many naval invasions that, that are happening right now. It's just too much. I need you to move... You know, the pathfinding in this game is just so wonky. I need you to actually, like, systematically go through and just take each area out. Do that, do that. Take these guys out. Come on. Do that. Take out you guys. Come on. 
Stupid lag. Take Nardvik. I mean, we're sinking a lot of enemy planes, which means they're probably hurting us quite badly. Go ahead and repair for now. Oh my god. How are they eating up Denmark? Oh, so terrible. Alright, Coast Guard Divisions, I have to have you on your, you know, ports right now. You have to be on ports. Move in. I need this stuff taken immediately. You, This army has to go back to Yugoslavia. Oh, I... This is so infuriating. How many naval divisions can the enemies plant? Oh, guys, guys, please, please. Do your job. There's a reason why I put you on Coast Guard Divisions. Coast Guard areas. Come on, take it. Thank God, thank God. Now we can actually move these divisions back to Yugoslavia. And I am planning on bleeding out all of the allies at this point. I need you to move quickly to get over there. Tanks are messing up ex not that great. Ah, oh, thank God Norway's gone. Thank God Norway's forever gotten. Alright, since Norway's gone, we actually have some spare armies now to move around. Thank God. So, uh, a couple guys here. Just kill them off. Seriously. That's good. I will send these soldiers, actually. Coast Guard Divisions do have their duty and are trying to get to where, to where they need to be. So with that in mind, with that extra army, you're going to clear off northern Germany. And then, using those armies, I've got to help push out the allies in Turkey and Yugoslavia. And then have a concentrated effort to break down France. That's really the goal here. Ooh. Nice. That convoy sunk. Be a little bit more careful. Because this is this is a giant mess. This is this should have never happened. Should have never even happened. Ugh. But the Allies have to pay dearly for this. I mean, this is ridiculous. They will bleed manpower for the rest of the game. They have to. Oh, uh, let's see. Didn't quite do do a good invasion there. Uh, oh, this is definitely an area where we can do probably pretty darn well. Leave you there. Attack here. And attack here. Followed up with two more divisions from here to here. They only look a little injured because I don't have, a, don't have enough mo rocket, motorized artillery. Whatever. Do that. It sounds like we're getting navally invaded, but that's pretty typical right now. You should be, you should be able to win. I mean, I don't understand. How are we not winning here? Because you're using 40 with combat divisions. That's why. Of course. Of course. Um, is he... Oh, we got a couple units up here. Maybe? No, they're still moving around. They're still moving around. Please, for the love of God, just make sure they can't navally invade us anymore. I mean, that that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever used. And I've got a couple guys encircled. Do I? No, I don't. Okay, I don't. Whew. That's good, at least. Just don't get encircled yet. And you guys, why have you stopped moving? Why? Maybe you haven't. Perhaps you have not. But Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. Uh, India. We've actually been doing okay in India. The front I don't concentrate on, we're actually doing okay on. Hmm. How many more losses? Oh, actually, we sunk a, an American convoy. Good. A lot of Americans are going to have to die in this war, unfortunately. Very unfortunate. But they've chosen their fate. Do that. Coast Guard divisions. Oh, we got some here already. That's good. Uh, let's see. You are doing the Coast Guard stuff, and you are over here. Nice. We have actually an extra spare army. Immediately come down here and just pummel the Brits. Like, don't leave anyone alive. We can't leave them alive. You come down there, and you will immediately... You can come over here. You can help destroy these guys. Before I forget, do I have any good cruisers yet? I got 1944 subs. I don't want to think about those. Oh, we do have some cruisers. We are making no cruisers at the moment. 1940s. Heavy ship. Do one more. One more... That's still okay for now. Super heavy battleship. Yeah, we could probably use a few more cruisers. I need to make more naval dockyards. Come to Leningrad as well. What are we building? Refineries. What do we need? We need... Oh. 
No, we still take all that stuff. We need a little bit more rubber, which I could trade for. Or I could just make my own. Hmm. Nice. And, of course, more dockyards. Which I will make eventually, obviously. Good, 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 good. We get six research slots. That's actually really good. Holy cow. Six research slots? Yeah, I'm planning on probably going to have to nuke London. Or probably Paris, at least. Oh, and these guys captured Amsterdam again. Or, close to Amsterdam. M2 decryption. A very nice. 1947. Nuclear power. Ooh. Ballistic computer. Less reliability? No, thank you. 47. 48. ET. Five. Eh, better steel mill. Why not? Come on, guys. Get down there. Destroyer sunk. Good. Uh, where's my other fleet? What are you... You're repairing. Okay. That's fine. If you're repairing, that's totally fine with me. Just make sure you don't get sunk. Good, good, good. You keep attacking me, and we'll see what happens. Keep losing a lot of planes, though. Maybe I could use a couple more planes around in different areas. Yugoslavia? Definitely could use more planes. Our fuel capacity should be okay. Looks like we had Ace Pilot die. Western Balkans. That's good to do. Sounds like we're getting navally invaded. Add 400 more heavy fighters. Oh, we got a lot of spare crap here. That's not good. Do that area. Uh, since we're focused... At least I'm a little focused on the Western Balkans right now. I'm going to make sure we push and just bomb the hell out of them. There we go, a little bit more close. Air support should work very nicely. And where are we getting invaded from? The Ukraine, which is retardedly stupid. Just That's just stupid. This shouldn't be happening. And Eastern Balkans shouldn't happen. Sh this should not be even happening. But, at, oh, we got someone encircled there. That is not good. Uh, I don't want to put you on super aggressive, even though it's not really super aggressive. It's just like attack until you can't attack anymore. Uh, you don't really have really good odds yet. And you're not exactly in your positions just yet, so I'm going to wait on that. War bonds. Eh. Eh. Steel, chromium. I'm okay on that stuff. Yeah. Not really much I can do with my political power at the moment. That's fine. Oh, nice. And, of course, they're trying to invade Sicily. Hopefully, our coastal divisions will be able to hold and turn those enemies away. Tanks. You guys have had more than enough time to move at this point. I need you to get to this area right now. You guys are still moving around. That's fine. By this time, the armies of Norway should have already... Where are they? Wait, where are you? Um, guys, I told you to come here. Please. Come on. <laughs> Jesus. These guys are still making it all the way down to Denmark. I can understand that just because it's a little further away. But this naval, these naval invasions, are they're just too much. They're just way too many. I mean, the AI, we all know the AI does cheat when they do naval invasions. They don't have any pl plan time, prep time. They just launch whenever they feel like it, which is really... Really not... F oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> this just should never happen. Why? Oh my goodness. This is so stupid. This is beyond stupid. Oh, and we... Tr Wait. Who's in... You see that carrier? Uh, my subs are gonna get des destroyed. Turkey, thank god, is finally gone. We've trapped in here quite a large American, but mostly British fleet. Which, most of my ships are going to die. But, in exchange for that, I can destroy a pretty good chunk of the Allied fleet. It's not like the Allies are using their fleet anyways. I mean, they're not trying to destroy Japan, so... I'm actually okay with this. So that's actually not bad. Uh, thank you, Infantry Divisions, for actually being able to destroy the enemies down here. That's actually somewhat relieving that you can actually do something down here, which is great. Uh... That's actually really, really great. Now we can actually move down to the Middle East. Hopefully. Go ahead, just... Wait. What the hell? Come on. Got, uh, my, that was my bad. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I need you to defend all these locations because... 
Well, we took out the country that was trying to defend and couldn't exactly do it yet. 134 divisions are needed. Coasts doing okay. Doing okay. Uh, yeah. We'll, we'll leave it at that for now. Leave it at that. Uh, let's see what happened over here. Somehow, I'm not really sure what happened. Yeah, allied fleets. Yeah, you're definitely going to have a lot more casualties in, in the future. Let's see. Cruisers, need more dockyards. For some reason, this is highlighted. We need more fuel. So where can I build infrastructure to get more fuel? Iran, perhaps I can borrow more fuel from. That might be prove to be useful. We got two up here, but I've already maxed that out. Three over here. Kev? Would Kev do it? No. Let's pause it so it doesn't lag too much. No, I don't think we have really that much fuel. I mean, we have in Baku, but... Yeah, that's a refinery. Huh. Oh, how about down here? Oh, that, that works. A little bit more fuel. Not a lot, but a little bit more. Alright, tanks. Push these guys in. They don't deserve to live. And actually, yes, I will send my tanks down to the Middle East now. Because I have to get the Suez. And then focus on breaking through into France to get to Gibraltar. Nice. Bulgaria, you were gone for a while, but now you're back. Uh, yes, I will actually take the Democratic People's Republic of Korea's divisions. Uh... Because I can always use more Coast Guards. I have to have more Coast Guards. It's ridiculous. I have to have them. You guys, go ahead and do what you need to do. You guys are making your way down to the Ukraine where the Allies mistakenly invaded, which was one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in this game. Alright, do we have our... Well, not, we don't have our soldiers down there yet, but pretty close, pretty close. Actually, just be sure. Why are you doing nothing? Who are you? You are making your way down to here, right? No, you're not. I don't know even where you are. Wait, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. That's better. So this is just too many arms. I hate focusing on like 16 different fronts at one time. I'm more of a one front type of guy. Mm, looks like the French are attacking us. Yeah, go ahead in France, keep attacking us, see what happens. Uh, let's see. American convoys, good. Just end their lives, please. They don't need to... They are in the way of a permanent revolution. Cool. You guys are doing great. I don't care what these guys say. you got to get rid of them. Come on, attack from two sides. Thank you. Oh, looks like someone saw some territory over here. So be it. Come down here. Oh, we lost a... God, what the hell is this? Oh, come on. These naval invasions have to stop. I don't mind some naval invasions, but this is just too many, man. It... Oh, oh, my God. Are you kidding me? How many? It's... This is ridiculous. This is too many naval invasions. This really is. All right. Now it's time for you guys to actually do your job. Kick them out of Europe. Go extreme. Don't give them a break. You have to kill every single one of them here. I mean, this is... They're like bugs. They're just everywhere. This is completely not cool. And how did you lose this? There's no way. I know I'm complaining a lot in this video, but... Honestly, it, this has to be explained. Like, this is too much. This is way too much naval invasions. Doesn't make sense. This is, didn't happen historically. Obviously, I'm not playing historically or anything like that. But this is just infuriating. Like, I can react to, like, three different naval invasions at once, but... Past three... It's a bit too much, man. It's just a bit too much. Alright, guys. You have to be down here and ready to go. Good. Now kill all of them. I need you to focus on these guys. Take them out. Uh, sub was sunk. I don't know how you're even invading. This makes no sense. You have no access through here. You have zero access, but then you just keep piling in more soldiers. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah, don't let these guys move in. Just kill them off. And it looks like we've encountered some of the enemy navy. Whatever. So be it. You guys look mostly good to go. So go ahead and kill every single one of those Brits. They don't belong in the Balkans. Or I guess that's technically the, what, the Ukrainian SSR. 
That would be good. It looks like we're doing well in that area. We've relegated... Oh, very good. Nice. Just take that area out. We've got more fuel refining done. Uh, and more fuel gain per oil. Sounds like a good idea. And that's pretty much all the time for that we have left f for today. Um, I think at this point... I'm going to just do a lot of this not on screen. I'm getting really sick and tired of complaining. Ugh. And I'm not going to complain about this, but I'm going to play this a little bit instead of just showing you everything because I'm so sick and tired of complaining and having to see another naval invasion with another naval invasion with this stupid naval invasion over here. So I'm going to play this a little bit ahead of time. Tomorrow when you come back, when you come see this, it'll be cleaner, hopefully, and or at least, at the very least, much more organized and... Just more ready to go. So, regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. I apologize for all the complaints and stuff and like that. But, uh, hope you liked the video. If you didn't, yeah, whatever happens, you know, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow, guys, with a cleaner, more accessible, organized Russian SSR and permanent revolution. Thank you very much for watching.